My Lords, the Indian Citizenship Amendment Act, CAA, denies citizenship to Muslim refugees from Burma, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Brushing aside the Indian constitutional commitment to secularity and the equal treatment of all religions. But this discrimination against Muslims shouldn't be looked at in isolation. The VHP, the ideological base of the ruling BJP, was founded in the 1930s by admirers of Hitler and the Nuremberg Laws that made it mandatory for German citizens to prove Aryan ancestry. The CAA, instead of segregating people by genetics, makes religion the basis for citizenship. The VHP was initially an understandable reaction to centuries of oppression of Hindus by Muslim invaders and then by the British. The aim was to introduce a sense of self-pride and self-worth, but it soon became rooted in notions of superiority over others. At first, the VHP, with its members dressed in shorts and armed with sticks drilling in parks, was seen as a bit of of a joke by most (coughs) Indians. Today, it is a powerful paramilitary organization, preaching hatred and promoting violence against non-Hindus. The underlying religious bigotry also affected some in the wider community. Pandit Nehru, India's first Prime Minister, famously declared that the care of minorities is more than a responsibility, it is a sacred trust. But he himself carried out a policy of discrimination against Sikhs. His daughter, Indra Gandhi, went even further in her 1984 attack on the Golden Temple, killing more than a thousand innocent pilgrims, followed by a planned massacre of thousands more Sikh men, women and children. The appeal to majority bigotry succeeded and led to a landslide victory in the general election. Narendra Modi, a lifelong member of the VHP, understands the power of majority bigotry. He was chief minister in 2001-2002 when the government and the police allowed the massacre of thousands of Muslims and he was for a time barred from entry in the UK and in USA. Modi wasted no time in implementing an extremist agenda as well as the a CAA, this includes a National Register of Citizens in Assam, stripping nearly two million Muslims of citizenship, scrapping Article 370 in Jammu and Kashmir, and putting the Muslim majority state under virtual military rule. Giving the green light to build a Hindu temple on the site of the demolished centuries-old mosque in Ayodhya to the very people responsible for the demolition. The government is also set to compile a national register of citizens with people having to prove their citizenship in a country where such documentation is almost impossible to obtain. Another planned measure is to require government permission to change one's religion, criminalizing freedom of belief. My lords, these policies provide a legal route for discrimination against Muslims and ultimately of all discrimination against all non-Hindus. Prominent politicians openly boast of making India a Hindu state. Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, second to Modi, has publicly referred to Muslims as termites who should be thrown into the Bay of Bengal. A government office has been set up to rewrite Indian history. Indian history for teaching in schools. But it's not all darkness. The very forces of totalitarianism are producing a widespread reaction against the very the government's discriminatory agenda. 
with nationwide demonstrations, often led by women. Some states have refused to implement the new legislation. My Lords, I appeal to our own government to work directly and through the Commonwealth to add to this positive momentum for tolerance and respect for all people in a wonderful country. Yeah.